today the topic of discussion is asquil natural joint so we'll understand asquil natural joint today and prior to this we have dealed with cross joint okay let's start with the natural joint okay so natural joint it does not utilize any comparison operator so the important part is that in natural joint you do not use any kind of comparison operator what it is all about let's let's read further then you will understand in natural joint there should be at least very important line at least one common attribute between two relations so in if in between two relations you are applying a natural joint then you must have at least one common column between two tables suppose there is a table called student and there is a table called course then both the table should have at least one common column let's say roll number is in table student also and roll number is in table course also then only you can apply natural joint otherwise it will act as a cross joint okay fine it performs selection forming equality on those attributes so what it generally do is that it performs selection forming equality on those attributes so by making equality on those attributes it select those rows which appear in both the relation so it only select the rows which appear in both the relation but only when when the common attributes are equal okay fine and eliminate duplicate attribute very important line it eliminate the duplicate attribute which attribute the common attribute if there is a common attribute roll number in both the table then when you perform natural join then roll, you will get roll number only in one table while in cross join if there is a roll number in both the tables you get roll number in both the tables okay fine okay let's see there is a two tables imp and department imp has employee id name and salary and department has employee id department and department id did now your task is to find the name of employee who work for any of the department your task is to find the name of employee who actually work okay uh, work for any department if i talk about one john then one john if i see employee id one is working for research so i must say that john is working for research and if i talk two two is of smith and employee id two is working in training department if i say shane shane is having employee id three but if i see in department table that three is not allotted to any of the table since three is not allotted to any of the table then what happened it shows that shane is not working right now shane has has a recruitment but it has not been allotted he has not been allotted uh, any of the department okay fine so let's fire a query select a star from imp comma department i have just told you prior to this video i told you this is what cross join so first of all for any join you start with cross join so the moment i do cross join what i get i get this value fine and you know it very well if if you haven't seen my cross join video i request you to kindly watch the cross join why i'm getting this see this table has three rows this table has two rows and finally three cross two is what six and i'm getting six rows that is one john one john is combining with both the two rows of second ta department table then two smith one john is combining with both the values and then two smith is jump combining with both the values of department and three three is combining with both the values of uh, department okay fine let me rub all these things otherwise it looks very odd okay fine okay so this is what uh, exactly the cross join is or you can write select or you can write select star from imp instead of comma you write cross join so this is what i already told you in my previous video i request you again to kindly watch that video then you will understand this video very easily okay fine so let's move ahead so have i got the answer no not yet i had i did only cross join now i'll put some condition after cross join okay the condition is now what am i doing is that select star from m comma department this till here we did it now i'm putting a condition that where imp dot eid is equal to department dot eid that is i i'm looking only for those rows whose employee id of imp is equal to department id of imp so if i see eid one is equal to eid1 so this row is selected if i see the eid1 this is eid2 so this is not selected because this is not equal this is not matching the condition if i see smith then this is smith is working in research no this is smith is this 2 is not equal to 2 then this is cross then if i see this 2 is 2 equal to 2 yes 2 is equal to 2 then i'll select this row 
Okay, is three equal to three? No, this is not equal. I will not select. And this is very true that change is not working in any department. Is three is what? Is equal to 2 no 3 is not equal to 2 so finally after matching all the criteria the things which we are getting we are getting only two votes and this is fantastic this is actually fantastic we are the only John and Smith is working uh, Shane is not working anywhere so we are actually getting the fine result okay so what I'm getting see the beauty that I'm getting after running this query the above query we are getting what we are getting only two John and Smith John is working for research department and Smith is working for training department that's fine okay what if what if i use in place of uh, what if because my job is to do natural join so what i'll do in natural join i'll write select star from m then natural join put natural join department so i'm not putting any imp id equal to department id because it by default takes natural join by default apply this thing if you are writing natural join then you need not to write this it will automatically include this okay and apart from this it will eliminate the duplicate rows right now see you are getting a duplicate row employee id also an employee ID, two times employee id the moment you run this query which query example this query you get see this now you are getting what you are getting exactly what only employee id one time and same answer john is research Phil smith is in training and you're getting the same answer okay no no need to get confused in that finally okay let's move again now what if i want only the select uh, previous to this we have selected star this means we have selected all the columns but what if we want to have selected columns then what we'll do we'll write select imp.eid why imp.eid because eid is a common attribute which is in both the table and if i am looking for employee id of imp then i need to specify that i'm looking for eid of m but what if i want department eid then i'll put department.eid only ename why not imp.ename because ename is unique ename is only in imp table what if imp name ename is also in department then in that case we need to specify that which table we are talking about why only department we can put also department dot department but since department is unique dept column is unique then you can put only department from what in cross join department where imp.id equal to department.id this is the first type okay the moment you do this okay now what you can do is that you can also do the same thing you can also do the same thing by using natural join select imp.eid ename department from imp natural join department so what again i'm doing i'm not using this i'm not using this i'm using everything apart from this where class i'm not using i'm only writing natural join the moment you run this you get this answer okay fine so i've tried my level best to explain you what is natural join okay uh, let me show you by running this uh, by running this natural join in oracle denji environment that will make you more understandable okay fine so we have two table one is student fine so student one is john is in gzb address second is, is jasmine she is in noida and four is shane she he is in gujarat okay fine okay we have one more table we have one more table we have one more table known as course okay fine okay the course course table has course number course name and role and both the table has one common column this role and this role can we apply natural join yes you can only apply natural join when there are common columns okay otherwise it will act as a cross join fine okay let me then do the natural join okay okay so what i'll do uh natural join so before natural join i'll show you how cross product and this equality works uh, what i am doing is that select star from student comma course where student dot role is equal to course dot role the moment you run this query the moment you run this query see the answer you are getting is that is very nice that one one john one one john is for row number one is in mca so one john gzb is 114 mc because rule number one is studying rule number two is also having equality condition with civil department if i talk about rule number four here is no rule number four because what i can see that rule number four shane shane is not working is not studying in any department okay so if i talk john is doing mca if i talk uh jasmine doing civil engineering but if i talk about shane shane is not doing anything but if i talk in course rule number that rule number three some someone who is having rule number three is doing mechanical but my table student 
in which rule number four is of shade is not studying right now anything okay fine what what i can do with uh, by using natural join so what i'll do is simply i'll put what natural join see this i'm reducing this query i'm reducing this entire query to this query Will I get the same result? Yes, you will exactly get the same result, but the common attribute will come only once. Here the common attribute is roll number. You are getting two times roll number here also and here also. And in a similar query using natural join, what you will get is that you are getting the same result. That is one John and second Jasmine, Gazibat, Noida, 14, 15, MCC, but you are not getting roll number because this is the beauty of natural join. It eliminates, it eliminates duplicate duplicate attributes okay so it has eliminated duplicate attribute and finally what i say always 